we're looking at a red clover plant that I harvested. This is a seed that sprouted two years ago. And in the first year, it had these leaves and it acted like a biennial by sending up flower stalks from the root that it created in the first year. But then we can see that it's a perennial because a biennial, when the flower stalk dies, the whole thing is dead. And this root is very much alive and green. Let's see if we can see this root. First of all, let's remember this plant has only been growing for two full years, but look at the enormous amount of actual area. Does this make it a little clearer to see the root here? Right, all of these fine little roots going off. As red clover matures, the root mass gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And this gives red clover the ability to mine the soil and to bring minerals up, both for itself. And then when it dies, this dead part, as we can see, lays down on the ground, decomposes back into the ground, and returns the minerals that were deep in the subsoil back up to the surface of the soil. Red clover, like all legumes, has nitrogen-fixing nodules on the roots, which we can't see with our naked eye. You need a microscope to see them because they're very tiny. But what that allows this plant to do is to take nitrogen out of the air, to fix it into the soil, and to feed all of the other plants. What can we see? By looking at red clover, we can see that red clover will feed us too. Hmm. Thank you.